Oh, this beige disaster of a grooming table was really draining the life out of me and I had to do something about it and in true artistic fashion I am going to take the tabletop home and spray paint it and I was planning to make it like a black marble look so stay tuned as I show you how I did that taking a close look at the surface of this table it is textured and I have no idea what all these stains are as I inherited this table but first things first I take it home and I gave it a good wash which I didn't film that part but now I am applying a nice primer base which is a grey colour because I wanted to do black and I didn't think it would be sensible to put a white primer so I chose a grey one and I'm just spray painting it evenly across the surface of the table this will need to dry and then I can move on to my next step so this is the brand primer that I used and it is oil based so any cleanup will need you'll need to use some turpentine to clean anything up uh, but the chair that it's on I don't really care for that chair so it doesn't bother me that I got over spray on it and, and look at my little babies aren't they gorgeous this is Kimmy and she's a Bichon Frise do you want to go to the park you need a bath you need a bath <laughs> she does need a bath and I will be filming that coming up in the next couple of weeks so stay tuned for that one so after a few hours my base coat has dried and now I'm going to add my black base color so with this rust oleum spray can I am just going to apply an even layer right over the entire table making sure to get the edges as well and it is a bit hard to film and spray paint at the same time but I'm doing my best and one key trick is to make sure the spray can is probably at least 20 to 30 centimeters away from the surface you are spraying and make sure to also have given the can a really really good shake before you do start spraying and as you're moving your hand across the surface to make sure you're moving at a steady pace and try not to stay in one spot for too long because then you're going to get too much product in one area and it's going to start dripping and that's exactly what you don't want um, so as I'm moving along I'm going to complete the entire surface and as you can see it's not solid black just yet you are better off doing it in layers rather than trying to get it one solid black color right now at this very point so if you allow each coat to dry completely before applying the next you will get a better wear out of your finished product another thing to keep in mind is because i started off with an oil-based spray i need to continue my colors with oil-based sprays as well because oil and oil-based and water-based spray cans will not mix together and if i had used a water-based black spray paint it would have just re easily chipped off my undercoat so keep that in mind so if you start with oil-based finish with oil-based and if you start with water base make sure you do finish with water base although for this type of work i do believe oil based products are more durable so opt for those if you can and as you can see i'm finishing up my second coat and obviously it is looking less patchy and i do end up doing a third coat but i don't think i ended up filming that one and it is, will be looking even more solid than what it is currently and here is a look at the finished two coats of black spray paint and I really like the way the texture of the tabletop is glistening in the light it almost looks like snake skin so yeah it actually <laughs> it, I think it upgraded really really nicely so while I'm waiting for the second coat to dry I'm trying to kill some time and I light a little fire pit outside and I really was enjoying the mood and the vibe of the night it was a nice still night and I just didn't do the third coat till the next day and you yeah, look at my little doggies <laughs> that's pixie and that's Bella in the background and that little beige one was Toby so here we are in the next morning and I'm going to use the black again and the white so I'm just going to go over it lightly with a layer of black again and then I'm going to start with the marble effect for those of you who are new to my channel and this is the first video you're seeing of me I actually used to be a nail tech before I became a, a dog groomer and doing marble nail art was one of my specialties so now I decided to do a marble grooming tabletop and to be honest I was kind of worried how I was going to achieve the marble look uh, my canvas was a million times bigger than what my uh, nail surface is 
and uh, I was really stalling and trying to avoid doing it I was really scared I was gonna fail but then I said to myself look if you stuff up you just spray paint it black all over again and start over so yeah that's what I was telling myself and I was trying to figure out how to do it so I thought I would spray some white spray um, paint into the lid of the, the can and then with some art brushes dip into the liquid which I just sprayed and then start painting onto the table the marble look which I wanted so that's what I started off with <laughs> and it's really not obvious in the video how my heart is pounding and how worried I was that I was going to stuff it up and it was really a battle of the thoughts in my head at this stage because <laughs> this table isn't mine I use it at work and I ask for permission from my boss to actually do this and she was more than happy to oblige and I was really happy she said I could do it so I was really feeling the pressure not to stuff this up and I was only having like two days off to do this in, to do this in and the pressure of the time as well and waiting dry times and anyway I was really under pressure <laughs> so as you can see I am painting on the white marble look lines but marble definitely has depth to it so i had to add lots and lots of different layers to this tabletop and make it look like there's lots of dimension in it so i finished up the first layer of veining and i was looking at it and thinking how am i going to get more depth to this so i decided to spray lightly over it and then use my little brush to sort of diffuse the sharpness of the white line so that's what I'm trying to do here. I was figuring it out as I went. If it didn't work, <laughs> I didn't know what I was going to do. But yeah, I was trying that. So that's going to be my first layer. And as you can see, it's not as bold and in your face, which is perfect because then I can start adding more layers on top of this. So I've already added a few layers to this and I wanted to add some more depth and I'm actually going to use some greys, that primer which I initially started with and I'm just dabbing it on with my brush and I'm going to cover quite a bit of this um, area and it's obviously looking too out there at the moment so I'm going to come back with some black spray paint and try and dull most of it out. I add uh, black spray paint wherever I feel it doesn't need to be that bold and it's starting to fade and blend and become like one. So once I'm happy with how the blending is done with this gray and black, I can then move on and start adding more veining to this tabletop. So I've swapped and I'm using a finer brush so I can get some finer lines happening. And I am basically going over the same pattern which I've put down but I'm, I'm not going directly over any previous lines which I've created. Obviously, at, in some sections it will overlap, but I do try and aim my lines at different positions. That's how we can get the depth of the marble and veining into the tabletop. And obviously, as you can see, I'm going back with my black spray paint and dulling certain sections, adding even more layers to this. And yep, you guessed it, I am going to add yet another layer to this, but this time I've swapped back to my thicker brush and I'm adding an even thicker line on top. As you can see, I'm working and intertwining my lines and I'm just following the same pattern. And if you can notice the way I'm holding my brush, I'm holding it ever so lightly so I could easily fall out of my hand and I'm trying to create such delicate flowy lines just by allowing the brush to flow over the tabletop and I'm just allowing it to go where it wants to as I guide it um, because I don't want these lines to be very solid and thick I needed them to be nice flowy and fine lines so there are a lot of layers of spray paint on this table and it's pretty tacky and I actually wanted to add some gold leaf and this is actually some gold leaf which I used to use for when I did nail art and I am just repurposing it. Actually no that sounds like I'm reusing it. This is just some nail art gold leaf which I had and I'm actually going to put it into the tacky layer of my table and this stuff is very very lightweight so if you end up sneezing or breathing a little too heavily it will fly out of the little container and you will lose it forever 
so yes be careful when you do that here I'm just adding some more very fine grey lines into among in amongst all this veining which I already have and I'm pretty much I'm looking at it and I'm happy with how it's turning out so the next step will be to add my epoxy layer so before I do add my epoxy resin I will wait for this to dry completely and this is what it looks like from another angle and I, I really am happy with how it turned out I was stressed for no reason <laughs> so this resin that I'm using it's actually you've got to mix equal parts of part A and part B and then I'm just pouring it onto the table and brushing it evenly across the entire surface. But unfortunately, the motion of the brushing over the surface actually sort of rubbed away some of my uh, layers, but it still looks pretty good as you can see. Now I need to allow the epoxy to dry for at least 48 hours. And in reality, it took about two weeks for it to cure completely where I couldn't get my fingernail into it. But here it is back at the shop uh, and look at it. I've attached it back to my table. Look how beautiful beautiful it looks I am so happy with how it turned out and here is the beige disgustingness from before <laughs> right next to the after and let me know in the comments which one you prefer the look of this has opened up so many possibilities of different things you could actually do to your grooming tables because for some reason grooming tables are either black blue pink purple like really basic designs not even designs just plain colors and we need to add some more personality into our tables because we've got to use them every day and i think they make us more happy to look at something that's actually beautiful rather than soul sucking beige boringness <laughs> Let me know in the comments if I've inspired you to actually attack your own grooming table and create something beautiful for you to work on every day. Um, but from here on, I will be putting out more grooming content. So I've got um, a few videos lined up. Do subscribe so you don't miss any of them.